this next question is what is your recent tasks and implementations okay so this is more generic ma okay we can't say this this is the only thing you have to tell what is the expectation is they will say they want to test you okay so you see i asked this question to someone okay and he is not able to answer it that means you don't know this process you don't know so you see two ways two ways to think about this question one way is i asked this question to two people okay when i asked the first person he given like okay uh, what is the recent task recent task you did and what are the what are the implementation so maybe i can say we we run an agile methodology we follow scrum process so last uh, scrum two weeks after i did five stories and these are the main main requirements from that or maybe you can say i implemented i was part of change management implementation where we did this 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 activities so the answer is very clear but if if a person doesn't know the real time things then what he will answer if some someone faced this question okay so the other person second person what is your recent tasks and how wh- what implementation you did either either this question either one of this question okay he will say i created com- some client script i created some business rules so you don't know the real time picture so real time picture is like this he may get a ticket he may get a story he may work on some development so he knows right he can frame something we we developed something for incident management i created uh, 10 catalog items okay during last two, two months of time one record producer attached this to an order guide so something you can say there are some few customizations in the incident form okay or uh, some some daily jobs uh, some periodic jobs to clean up activity something something you can frame it okay but if you don't know the real time things okay you, you, the answer is like it won't come properly that's what they look f- look here there is no direct answer for this one but you can frame anything keeping this day to day flow in your mind says we follow this one and i did recently this one is that clear yes no is this clear ma like whoever, whoever asked this question you are fine will i answer that or please confirm okay so this is what the expectation from this particular question okay now the next question is also similar like this one okay so what you recently did or what is the complex activity you did and how you troubleshooted and how you fixed it see there are two things ma here in this uh, in this from this question there are two things they will expect one thing is they want to test you whether you are really worked on it or not second thing is when you get some kind of a complex scenario okay when you are getting some kind of issues how you troubleshoot it or you got an issue how you fix it how you get out of that situation that's what they will expect okay so now the same question here also this this question is also same okay even this question also same what does it mean is when you are getting some issue or when you are uh, what is the complex scenario okay complex scenario may be anything okay you get a requirement you develop it and in between it won't work properly then you have to fix it right so anything you can take it okay any example maybe you can say i created a business rule to do this activity but it, it didn't work some somehow then uh, i had to keep a log or i need to check something activity and then fix it and all you have, you can cover it so that's what they will expect but main thing is when you get an issue okay where you see okay so see here we have something called logs here in service now we have logs okay all the activities will be captured here okay so this is where you can okay you can track okay when you are running a script you can keep some gs dot log okay and then record something and he come you can come here and see okay so see here some warnings are there something this is one thing let's say troubleshooting so let's say you you got one issue 
okay you got a customer where he is saying like emails are not triggering to me okay so there is an incident created but uh, the customer is that particular user and for her email is not came for that incident okay it should come but it didn't come then how you troubleshoot first thing is you go to email logs okay let's say email logs so let's see this one i'll see here i'll just create an incident uh, dummy incident for you okay to show how, what is the how the system will send an email okay so see here customer take a customer who have uh, okay email id something like this right right so submit it just take this one so the expectation here is when a ticket is created okay there is some default emails or configured emails also there okay so they will be captured in email logs so i should get a, i should get a email here saying okay ticket is created to you okay so this is the one so now this person came this person raised an incident to us saying uh, i am not receiving service from emails even though tickets are creating for me or by me okay i will show you one more email okay see here uh, where is the incident you are here now incident right where is the incident this is the inc no this is not required uh, 93 so 93 go to the 93 I'm I'm showing multiple emails ma, okay? Maybe I'll just show one more email on the same record. So see here, once the ticket is created, I am uh, someone assigned this ticket to some group. Okay, who who are responsible to t handle this particular incident? Okay, and also they also attached uh, assigned this ticket to one user from the group. Okay, there are no people. Huh? So, two things are happening here. One is assigning to group, and one other one is assigning to a member also. Okay. So, the system intimate those two. Okay. This list of people from the group saying there is a ticket created to your group. That is one email. Other one is give, give us two minutes. Maybe. Ah, see here. Uh, it is assigned to you. There is an email saying uh, the ticket is assigned to you okay please look into it that is one email we seen and there should be one more maybe where it is for group okay then forget about it so see why i am telling is from system side when when you see an issue saying uh, email is not received you can't go to his outlook and then troubleshoot first your your access is service now okay so you you open the record and see okay when it is created so here in the in this particular record now you can have the this one see system is telling in the incident record says it's it sent one email to this user okay on this date so go to email log check on that day says whether you received or not whether this person is received or not okay now here it is there then we can say from service now side it is triggered on this date successfully now what could be the what could be the other issue maybe he have some issue okay so people now nah, in my in generally i seen many like they will say i didn't i am not receiving emails but the emails will be going to their junk okay they don't go to inbox but somehow they are going to junk and uh, the particular customer don't know whether uh, he is really receiving it or not so that also we can suggest them but from our side we can say service no side okay emails are triggering we are good please check your junk or please check from exchange side is there any issue with your uh, email configuration so they will check with the email team exchange team and then they will see see depends on the issue we need to align okay there is no standard answer for this one also but what is the issue and to that issue what you are checking so see here what i am checking so i am going to email okay so maybe this is not the issue but maybe the some other thing is an issue so 
so you also go to this email log deeper and then you can see okay which notification it is triggering which event is triggering and you can also see whether this event is uh, calling properly or not from business rule or a server side script so all these things you can see here okay so start thinking from this way it's not like a direct answer but when when you are seeing this kind of questions the expectation is like these kind of answers right now it's not only email logs depends on the issue okay you may see different types of answers but when you are writing a code server side code you keep logs okay gs dot log okay so using gs dot log from business tools or from workflow server side script schedule jobs fix script background script you enable some logging and then you check the logging client side troubleshooting is very easy because you can keep alert okay you can print the values you can see the alert values everything right but server side na you only have one option that is logs anna ipudu gs dot log gs dot info warnings untai kada na ha ఇన్ all these answers ma okay 3 and 4 and these questions are answered right you are all good confident now okay so the next one is debugging your workflow so what is the purpose of this question ma whoever raised this question can you please uh, explain what is the expectation here so one when you created an rtm okay when you say workflow means it is a task okay request item and task right so just open one thing okay sc underscore what is the table name sc underscore re2 underscore item very good okay so you go here and you want to see see the the issue would be anything so maybe some customer raised a uh, raised an issue okay and sorry not a issue but a request he raised he went to catalog item he raised a request somehow it is not proceeding okay so now how to troubleshoot there would be anything there would be so many things but let's see this one okay so oftenly i will tell maybe i can give one or two examples one is like people generally raise a request but the ticket will go to some approvers approver will be inactive or they will not be there in the system they left the organization so till the time they will approve the request it will not proceed further so what is the status of it nothing right so that is an issue then what we can do we can approve it or we can ask them to uh, change the approvers or raise one more understanding it listen okay this is one thing where is this uh, related list i am just looking for the related list one second ah huh? give me one second why i can't see all this one workflow show workflow Maybe they are hardware related. Give me one second. Okay, this is also somewhat fine. But here I should see show workflow, right? Where is that? Show workflow. Why 
Сначала пойду чай. So in our team there is something called show workflow. The answer is show workflow. Uh, but here it is not showing. I don't know why. We need to enable it. Huh? Give me one second. particular item that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. Let's, and all, uh, give me one second, let me see. that we see in there, they don't have the... Workflow lay them on them. It doesn't have workflow. That is the reason they are not showing. But we created few now. This is maybe... Okay. So let me see this one. This doesn't have workflow. Ah, okay. So see here, there is a catalog item and there is an RATM, this is a ticket, this is how you get the request, okay, so they will come up and the requester will come up and the requester or customer will come up and say, I, this, this one is not created a task or it is not moved, it is not moving to next step. So what you do is from administration side, you see the RATM, you see the workflow, show workflow. The show workflow will show you the current state of the workflow. I think when we were discussing workflow now, we walk through the each step, right? We open one by one, by one activity and then we see in the relevant thing, right? So yes, you see where it got stuck and also we, we see what is the issue. Because sometimes they will come up and say, I raised a request, but it went to different queue. Why? Maybe there is a condition where this condition is moving to the next queue. Okay. So those things and all we can check using show workflow and then come back to them says this is what happened okay and this is the reason it went to the next one okay even in workflow run script also you can keep gs log if it is if you are writing some server side script okay that way you can debug it it's all depends on the issue okay so one customer says okay i i'm raising a i'm raising a request from this form and the ticket is going to this group okay fine I want a new group. So you take that as a request, create a story, capture it in an update set, change the group to some other group and then move the changes to UAT and then get her tested or, and then we will uh, move to production. It could be a new requirement, right? You are understanding, ma? Yes, sir. 